Hi everyone! So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the video that I made with Gigi Gorgeous on the Seventeen Magazine YouTube channel one year ago on April 1st, 2019. If you haven't seen the video, please go watch it. I'll link it below. But the story behind how this happened is absolutely incredible. So I wanted to go into how I got that opportunity and then react to the actual video because I haven't watched it in several months. I remember watching it a ton of times when it came out and then I just moved on to other videos and you know kind of forgot about it in a way but recently April 1st passed and I was like wow one year ago exactly this insane experience happened. So I wanted to do a video on it and just go through my feelings on the whole situation. So in 2019, Gigi's book, He Said, She Said, came out. And she was doing a lot of book tours. So she was going to, you know, like Barnes and Nobles and all these different bookstores and doing signings and taking pictures with fans. And so I saw on Facebook that the Barnes and Nobles by Union Square in New York City was doing that event for her. And I was like, Gigi gorgeous, oh my gosh, I really wanna go because I've watched Gigi for years. Like when I tell you I learned how to do makeup from watching her videos, like I've been watching her since I was a kid. And so I've basically grown up watching her and I've seen her evolve as a person. And so I really wanted to go to this book signing. So I'm looking at the details of the event on Facebook and I noticed that it's on a school day and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna be able to go. I like setting up my classes where I just have big block classes from 2.30 to 8.45 p.m. and that's it. I really enjoy being in a class and learning and participating and you know engaging in dialogues about whatever we're learning about. And so I've never missed one day of class in college and in high school, I'm pretty sure I also had perfect attendance all four years. And in middle school, I almost had perfect attendance, but I got the flu and there was just no way I could come in with the flu. So that was tragic, but you get the point. I hate missing class and I was like, I can't do it. I cannot miss an entire block class that counts for two classes to go to this book signing. I put interested anyway, like you know how on Facebook it's like going, interested and not going. I think those are the three options. I just put interested because either way, I was interested, but I couldn't go. A few weeks later, I get an email from someone from Hearst Media, which is um, Seventeen Magazine's like media platform. And it's from a woman saying that she saw that I clicked interested on the Gigi Gorgeous book signing in Union Square. And she was wondering if I would be down to participate in a Seventeen Magazine video with Gigi in which we compete to see who has like more makeup knowledge. So we're basically answering trivia. And at first I was like, is this real? So I'm not about to like walk into a situation that isn't what I think it is. So I start Googling, I'm like Hearst Media. I look up this lady's name and it's all legitimate. So at this point I'm freaking out. I'm like, how did they find me? Why did they pick me? He said in the email, you thought you have a great look and like you'd be super good for this. And I was like, oh my God, this is, this is like a once in a lifetime experience. This is incredible. I was like, absolutely sign me up, um, totally down. And I get to meet Gigi, I was like, oh my God. I can't, I literally can't. The date of the shoot was set for April 1st. So that day I actually did have um, one class, one block class. It was my urbanism class, which I really enjoyed because I'm a finance major, but I think it's good to break up finance classes with some creative classes, some visual art stuff. Like I said, um, I'm sure I've said this in a previous video, but like I love drawing, I love painting, and I just love exercising my creative muscles. So it would turn out that I would have to leave around 45 minutes early for this class. And knowing how I am, 
how I hate to miss any portion of class whatsoever. I was like, oh no, like, damn it. I couldn't just, I couldn't just get away with like never missing even a little bit of a class. So I go to class, I'm there for most of it. And then I, I leave 45 minutes early to go to Hearst Tower, which was actually super close to my school, which was incredibly convenient. I literally walked there. And I was so nervous because I've never done anything like this before. Like I got like a, a call time or a call sheet. I forgot what it's called, but like I got the thing where it's like everyone's names, the directors, who's gonna be there. Um, it's also makeup trivia and trust me, I love makeup, I know my makeup. But I was like, are the questions gonna be hard? Like, should I have studied for this? Like, I didn't study! How am I gonna go into something and I didn't study? So I walk into Hearst Tower and I give the security card my ID. He lets me in and I walk up and I get in the elevator and I go up to where Seventeen Magazine films. And the place is stunning. It's a bunch of rows of desks and computers and people editing videos or people doing whatever work they have and then if you walk down and turn left there was like a row of makeup mirrors and chairs and these are like the glam mirrors where it's like a big square and then light bulbs all around it so it's like the best lighting ever and i just felt like a total princess i was like this this is insane and no one from the filming crew or anything was there yet. So I was just kind of sitting like... <laughs> and finally, someone approaches me and they're like, hey, are you here for the DG Gorgeous video? And I was like, yes. And they're like, they were so, so nice. They're like, do you want any water, coffee, anything? I was like, water's good. So they gave me a cute little cup of water and they were like, you know, um, everyone will be here in a few moments, just chill out enjoy and like let us know if you need anything so i was like cool so now i'm like really getting nervous because i love public speaking and i'm such an extrovert i can literally talk to a stranger and find something that we can connect on but i've never been in a situation where it's like i know i'm gonna meet like a celebrity that i've looked up to for so many years like what do i say how do i react i don't know it's a little intimidating especially knowing that it's all gonna be on camera you're like if i freak out they're gonna they're gonna film it finally they let me into the filming room and when you watch you know 17 magazine videos online or any any type of video buzzfeed whatever i wasn't expecting the room to look the way it did but in hindsight it totally makes sense so in the back end, they had like this really pretty uh, like rolled wall wallpaper to set like a nice background color for the set. And then opposite of that, there was a table, buttons, and the filming crew was behind that. So it's like lights, cameras, microphones, like all of that. Finally, like I hear Gigi Gorgeous's name and I hear her voice and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I, was, I was freaking out. And so she walks in and I stand up. She's like saying hi to everyone. And I stand up and the producer's like, Gigi, this is Cynthia. This is the fan that you'll be competing with today. And I was like, hi Gigi, oh my gosh. And I was like, I've been watching you for so long. Like you've inspired me so much. And she was so sweet. I, I cannot stress this enough. She was so nice. She was like complimenting me back and forth. She was like, your nails are so cute. Your, your hair is amazing. You're adorable. And I was like, have you seen yourself? Like go watch that video and tell me how good Gigi looks. Also, she is like a model. She's so tall, like super, super tall. Like while we were filming, she had to take off her heels because she was so much taller than me that it looked funny. <laughs> so like she literally took off her heels so I could be just a little bit taller. <laughs> and 
Nats was with her too and Nats was so sweet. I was like, hi Nats, like I love you guys together. You guys are so adorable. Like you guys are the perfect match. And a bunch of Gigi's friends were there as well. So they were all so welcoming, so sweet. Um, but of course, like I was a little intimidated because I was just there by myself. And so I didn't have a squad or anything. I was just like, hi, <laughs> please like me. I love you guys. And so we all get settled down and they explain to Gigi what to say for the introduction because obviously she was on her book tour. And so gotta plug that into the video because that's so important. And so she does that introduction and then I go and stand next to her and I was so nervous and you could tell in the video, but Gigi is just so funny and free and she definitely make me, made me feel more comfortable for sure. Um, and our little intro was so cute because they were like, all right, like, do you guys want to like introduce yourselves? You know, Cynthia, say your name. And Gigi was like, why doesn't she like jump up from underneath the table when I introduce her? And I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. So we did that and it was just so fun. So the rest of the video was makeup trivia. And honestly, some of the questions were super, super easy. And I literally just blanked out because I was so nervous with like all the lights and the cameras and like crew of people watching me. But I would say a few were like really, really tough and both Gigi and I struggled. And there are a few questions where we went back and forth until someone guessed the right answer because they were just so specific. But overall, it was incredibly fun and I'm so thankful for the experience because things like that are just things that happen once in a lifetime and I'm so honored to have been in Gigi's presence and to have met Nats and her friends and to have been part of a Seventeen Magazine video. That's insane. So now I'm going to watch the video for the first time in months and I'm going to react to it and just give you some live feedback. Hey guys, it's Gigi Gorgeous. I am here today to go head to head with a super fan, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> and this is when I literally just jumped out of nowhere and she was so sweet. She's like, my baby. And I was like, okay, Gigi, you're so good at this. I just birthed her. Um, we're gonna be doing a makeup quiz questionnaire. If I was birthed by Gigi, Wow, I'd be much taller. My name is Cynthia. I've been watching Gigi since I was in the sixth grade. I love her, my mom loves her. I literally learned how to do makeup by watching her videos. So this is accurate. Since the sixth grade, I've been watching Gigi. And I remember like showing my mom videos of her makeup and be like, this is amazing. I gotta learn how to do this. She's so good. And so I was just, always super, super inspired by um, her videos. And one thing I'll give myself credit for is that as nervous as I was, I nailed my makeup that day. When I'm super nervous, sometimes I'll mess up my makeup, but no, I killed it that day. So give myself credit for that. <laughs> So I'm just really honored to be next to you right now and do this challenge. Love you. And she's skipping school off the record right now to be here. I skipped 45 minutes of my urbanism class. Don't get it twisted. I don't skip school. Very honored. We have no idea what questions were being asked. No clue. And we're kind of scared. Just a little bit, but we'll be good. We were a little yes. nervous. We're, we're like, how difficult are these questions going to be? Are you ready? I'm ready. Me too. <laughs> Like, like totally obsessed. Mm. No? Do I get like See, these questions are like oddly specific. Like you would be like, yeah, of course everyone knows the first three lipstick colors that she made, but like, do you remember? I mean, unless you have them, then you probably remember, but like specific names of lipsticks. I can't even tell you the names of lipsticks that I have right now. <laughs> Slimes or water port right now. <laughs> Yeah, so am I negative one now? <laughs> Was it 2017? Mm. 2018. Yeah. I'm gonna say summer, June. 
again, very specific, but like not as difficult. It was like a tie between 2017 and 2018, but like definitely not super, super easy questions if you're not keeping track of this stuff. Like even if you watch the videos, which I love Manny, I've been watching him forever, still difficult. Really? Yes, Gigi. Ah, oh, this one. The eyeshadow palette. See, it's questions like this where I'm like, come on, Sin, come on. You knew that one. You failed us. Plot and Renaissance? Mm. Soft glam? Mm. <laughs> These are like intense questions. And then we both got it wrong. We were like, Boop. if you don't know it, and I don't know it, this is hard. By the way, they're very specific. Okay. my gosh see <laughs> those kind of questions just cracked us up because we were like we're gonna keep going down by 10 until someone gets it and there were a few that were like that but it was just so fun and so lighthearted. this one i knew that one yes girl what's christine oh. um better than sex oh my god what's the face of that yes <laughs> When I when I got that one right, I was like, "Ooh, I've I've been getting killed this whole this whole time." So, one for me. Let's go. Mac Cosmetics. You know, Gigi loves her Mac Cosmetics. See, when Wait, was Maybelline founded? I don't I don't know. When it comes to years of things being founded, especially makeup companies. That's rough. That's a little rough to be put on the spot for that question. <laughs> the 70s? We were both so confused. 60s? <laughs> the 50s. The oh, it's like the 18s. 20s. The 10s. 19. And she got it. It was the 1910s. 12. 15. Damn it. <laughs> Can we just split doing that doing point? <laughs> That was like a team effort. Like we really should have had that point split because she got us to the 1910s, but I had to just guess that one number. Kabuki brush. Oh, that's the other thing. Gigi was so fast. Like I knew that brush and before I could even breathe, she pressed the button. I was like, oh, oh, I gotta step my game up. God damn. So she got that one, and I was like, okay, Gigi, well played. Kabuki! Okay, you go. Alright, oh no, okay. We so need a room. The lightning round was absolutely terrifying because we would just stand there by ourselves and just get like drilled with questions. And like I said before, I was so nervous. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna forget everything and I'm just not gonna know what to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Manu, I mean, I keep up with the beauty guru drama. So the fact that you'll see, but like the fact that I didn't get more of these, I was just like, ah, oh, you could have done so much better. I keep up with the tea girl. UA, Laura Lee, Jacqueline Hill. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking out. I'm blanking. <laughs> Oh my god. So um, he's had a feud with. How did I know? Manny MUA. Laura Lee. Kat Von D. Come on, girl. Nikita Dragon. Gigi Gorgeous. I'm just kidding. I ran out. I don't know. I feel like that's it. What made me feel better is that both of us were just generally blanking out because, again, there was no way to study for this. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go with the names. So dates and names of makeup, not my thing. Like you could pull up my favorite eyeshadow palette and be like, what's this color that you use every single day? And I'd just be like, I don't know. You wanna quiz me on like finance, history, 
names of laws. Like, I got you on that, but makeup names? Whew, that's rough. No. <laughs> Drug Lord, Blue Blood. Um, oh no. I literally am blanking out. No clue. Also, <laughs> at that point, I actually didn't own any Jeffree Star lipsticks. So I feel like if I had a few of my own, I probably would have known the names or at least had more of an inkling. But at that point, I didn't have any, but I really loved his stuff and I really wanted the lipsticks. But again, like when Jeffrey does his launch videos and he like swatches all the lipsticks and he names them, like I'm not over here memorizing that. I'm, I'm just like, I like that color. I like that color. That's all I need to know. Um, androgyny, Nathan. There's candy. Okay. Okay. I think it's one. Yeah. So I don't know. I I'm like, so bad. I just like colors. I don't look at the that? names. Well, I think we both failed. Yeah, I feel better about it now that I know we're at the same level. We're good. Sorry, video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. But low key, Gigi won hardcore. Especially with that Kabuki brush point. I was like, ooh. Mm. But she was so sweet about both of us forgetting everything and like was not overly competitive at all. It was just like super nice about it. Jing, this video, this challenge, we kind of blew it, I feel. A little bit. I feel like I could have done so much better if I could do a round two, I totally would. Yeah, Let us know sure. how you guys did in the comments. If, if we had done a round two, we would at least understand like the types of questions you were gonna be asked. So maybe we would have done a little bit better, but Gigi had a whole book tour going on. Like she has 15 million things to worry about. I highly doubt, you know, names of lipsticks were gonna be at the top for her mind, but she still did really, really well, which is really impressive. And thank you again for thank being you. here. Thank you. Love you. So great to see you. So fun to say hi to your mom. Of course. She'll be ecstatic. Yes. <laughs> and be sure to order my book, which is available now. It's called He Said, She Said. It's available wherever books are sold. And be sure to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel for more videos like this. Stay gorgeous. So yeah, Gigi was like super cute. And I was hugging Gigi and I was like, this is amazing. This is not real life. But she is just so sweet, especially shouting out my mom at the end. I was like, hey mom. Watching back that video makes me feel so nostalgic. Uh, 2019 was an incredible year for me in so many different ways, um, both personally, academically, professionally, and just in terms of all the really fun creative opportunities that I got, like photo shoots and doing a video like this, which is insane. And I don't know, it's, life is crazy in the sense that you can make one decision, like clicking the interested button on a Facebook page and then getting invited to do a video with someone you've you know, admired for years and for a magazine that I literally used to order when I was younger. I'm still in shock that I got to do that and I'm just so honored. And I see that Gigi is absolutely thriving still, as always, like she deserves to. And it's just incredible that I'll have that video to look back on for the rest of my life. I could always just be like, I met Gigi Gorgeous at Hearst Tower, filming for Seventeen Magazine. Insane. And that was definitely an experience that pushed me a little more to want to make a YouTube channel because I was like, this is something that I need to talk about because it was amazing. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hearing about my little story time and watching my reaction. Uh, it was super fun for me to make and just relive those memories again. So comment down below if you would be nervous meeting someone that you've watched on YouTube for so many years. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye!